Shalom, shalom, family. I got to make this video. This probably be one of my quickest videos I ever made. Um, I had a messianic friend of mine tell me to read Psalms 40. Of course, he didn't want me to read it in its context. He just wanted me to look at verse 6 and 7. He said, Unk, now tell me, who is that talking about? Who is that? So let me read verse 6 and 7. It says, Sacrifices and offerings thou oh, excuse me. Sacrifice sacrifices and offerings thou didst not desire. My ears hast thou opened. Burnt offerings and sin offerings hast thou not required. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book is written of me. So he said that right there without a shadow of a doubt is talking about the Hamashiach, the Christ, Yahavashiach, Jesus, um, Yahushua, Yeshua, Yahushua. There's many names that people um, recognize him by. But he said this Psalms 40 verse 6 and 7 plainly shows that this is talking about um, Yahavashai. That's what he calls the Messiah. So I said so. If we're going to be honest and read in context, I asked him, then why isn't verse 12 speaking of the same person? If you read it in context, because it's a continuous flow of the same person speaking. So why is it? Forget that. Let's just read from 6 on down to 12. Sacrifice and offerings. Thou didst not desire. My ears hast thou opened. Burnt offerings and sin offerings hast thou not required. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book is written to me. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips. O Jehovah, thou knowest. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. Withhold not thy tender mercies from me, O Jehovah. Let thy loving kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. For innumerable evils have compassed me about my iniquities have taken hold upon me so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the hairs of my head. Therefore my heart faileth me. Oh well. Houston, we have a problem. A big problem indeed. So when we look at this and just continue reading a little bit further, we can see that this is the same person speaking. And if this is indeed the Mashiach, as he said it is, the Mashiach, he said, is sinless, is perfect, is God in the flesh. But in verse 12, excuse me, there's, there's, there's something shared here that this person, who he says is the Mashiach, is revealing that he has iniquities. Now, of course, this can't be speaking of the Mashiach. So if we just be honest and understand this is not talking about the Mashiach. It is talking about a Mashiach, but it's talking about the Mashiach, King David. King David is writing of himself. David wrote a song and included himself in the song. That's all it is. It wasn't him prophesying about the Mashiach. A lot of songwriters write songs that occludes themselves in the song. So it's no different here. So this is it, David prophesying about the Hamashiach. So we need to get over that and be honest to the text. It is King David simply speaking of how he is with the creator and how the creator 
is with him. And we can see, because this is one thing I want you to look at, is verse 7 before I close. Then said, I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written to me. I believe that this could also be shared this way, because the book he is speaking of is the Torah, I believe. And I believe he said, Lo, I come in the, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. I believe he said he came to the part of the Torah where it is written for him. The Torah is for us to keep. That's my take on that verse real quick. But anyway, the video is now over. And I just wanted to make it. I went a little bit over my time, but it's all good. Anyway, this is your brother Yael, Ezra Levy, a.k.a. Tommy Kurt Todd. Shalom, love, and blessings. And enjoy your Shabbat. Peace.